Hi, I'm Maria Green, and I'm going to show you a simple, fun spread for your journal page. Uh, I'm using a mixed media, heavy duty journal paper, and uh, it's very good at taking wet materials. So, here I'm spreading out some uh, colors, basic paints, acrylic paints. And uh, I'm using an old credit card. And here I'm using a baby wipe to spread out the paint. I find that the baby wipes uh, don't have any lint and they make a nice uh, blurry soft background. So here I got rid of the white page and uh, then I write affirmations about myself and all positive uh, informations and things I would like to always remember about myself. So I fill the page with this and then if I want to keep it sem semi-private I just wipe some paint over it. Here I'm using a pink to go with, with the other pastels. And, uh, it makes nice layers, the text and then the various layers of paint. I printed out just a plain photocopy of uh, one of my photos and cut it out and I use uh, Mod Podge to, to glue it down and I like to put a lot of medium on there uh, to get all the edges down really well. We could of course use a different kind of medium or watered down glue to uh, glue it down, but make sure it lies flat. And here I take in a little doily that I found in the baker section at Joanne Fabrics. Glue that down because <laughs> I like the edges and continue the soft uh, motif. I like to do something fun. And here I'm writing more affirmations. And be your own best friend. It's so easy to be critical of your artwork. And people might not understand the passion that artists feel about doing any kind of art. And journaling it for me is a fun way to not worry about the outcome, just having fun and try out different techniques. I'm just using plain block letters here and I'm using a painter's pen, uh, which are per permanent ink. Here I filled it out with red, make it stand out a little more. And I thought it would be fun to make a little hat. So I have more permanent markers uh, that I use for covering up the hair. It didn't have to be black, but uh, I thought it's a bold statement to go with the red. I'm using a Sharpie pen, permanent ink, and you know, painter's pens. If you're lucky, you can find a, a good one, a good painter's pen in white, then it will cover it. The quality is spotty. I'm making a little flower for the hat, a whimsical flower. And shades. We will make it look cool.
here I'm filling out the leaves to be more visible. And here I have a Stesson permanent ink in red and a small kit with letters and what I'm stamping on there is I am my best supporter. You can of course use any kind of ink that you have. It doesn't necessarily have to be waterproof unless you uh, decide you want to put the water media on top then it would smear. Here I'm using another Sharpie permanent pen and I'm writing the words grow and expand. That is the nice part about being an artist, you always grow and expand, trying different medias, different styles. It's an ever-expanding journey. Here I have a, a uniball pen that does cover really well in white. Um, but it's not a permanent ink I wrote. Do that thing that makes me happy now. I like to use informa uh, affirmations that really hit the depth of who I am at the moment. So it's different for everyone. Choose to be happy, that's, that is a choice. And I have a big stash of washi tape. I was trying to incorporate um, some washi tape because it adds um, a bit of frame and also just another element to the page. This one has the words hope, faith, and trust. Here I've filled out those letters with pink permanent ink. And there you have it. Make your own if affirmation.